Hello, everybody, and welcome to the VGWA. I'm Cobretti. And I'm Wally. And come join us today as we start WrestleMania season by counting down all the console games with WrestleMania in the title. But first, act like you won the Royal Rumble and point to that WrestleMania sign. And now take that index finger and click the like and subscribe buttons. For this list, we'll be looking at all home console releases of wrestling video games with WrestleMania in their title. Number 10, WrestleMania for the Nintendo Entertainment System. About the only thing good that you can say about this video game is that Rare somehow managed to create the aging filter on the hardware limitations of the Nintendo Entertainment System. I mean, seriously, look at Hulk Hogan. I mean, I know he was older, but man, this looks like his last TNA run with Ric Flair. Well, you gotta admit, there are six great wrestlers within the game. I mean, it has Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Macho Man Randy Savage, The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, Bam Bam Bigelow, and the Honky Tonk Man. Who is the greatest Intercontinental Champion? Ahmed Johnson. For me, the game is abysmal. Even when the game came out, it had to be abysmal to anybody who played it, especially if you're a wrestling fan. To just putter back and forth across the screen, not perform any wrestling moves, and wait for some twinkly little iconic symbol come down into the ring that you can get some health back, that is a snore fest. So yes, this belongs at the bottom of the list for barely resembling a actual wrestling game. Number nine, WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And oddly enough, only available for the PAL region for the Master System. First off, let's just say, depending on which system you have this game on, you'll have a different roster to select from. Me personally, I say the Master System automatically gets plus one point because you get to play as Papa Shango. No way, man. Sit justice on the NES. Either way, this game is slightly better than WrestleMania on NES. It's because you can actually do wrestling moves. A very limited amount of wrestling moves, but yes, wrestling moves. And you have a steel cage. Number eight, WrestleMania 21 for the OG Xbox. Holy hit detection, Batman. There is none. Though the game does show an impressive roster, there are quite a few bugs within the game itself. The most notable one was that Xbox actually sent out the game without a patch in it. So when people got the game when it came out, it was actually broken. And lucky me, I'm one of them. And today, because they don't have Xbox Live for the original Xbox, I cannot patch the game without having the Platinum Edition. Or Splinter Cell. Wink. Woohoo! I got the Platinum Disc! Lucky you. This game is named WrestleMania 21 because the developer hit Blackjack and took all your money. Number seven, WrestleMania Challenge for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So now we're moving back to a game that has good hit detection, but the controls are a little bit off. To me personally, I felt like playing this game, the wrestlers were going around an ice rink instead of a wrestling mat. With Cobretti and I playing this game on an isometric ring, we basically ran circles around each other trying to figure out how to line each other up for the moves. It basically came to us just mashing buttons until we got close to each other. And I won. Yay me. On the positive side, this game had finishers. Even though they were not technically finishers, Wally, who was playing as Ravishing Rick Rude, could perform the Rude Awakening. And while I was playing as Brother Brutai, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, I was able to perform a sleeper hold. Although not a great game, you do have to give it to WrestleMania Challenge for being the first functional game on our list. Number six, WrestleMania 18 for the GameCube. For me, the WWE games on the GameCube are some of the best wrestling games out there. If you haven't played one, you should play one. Maybe not start with this one. For a new console generation, we were hoping that the character models looked more like the wrestlers, but they ended up only looking like 80% like the wrestlers, a la Fire Pro. The controls are a little bit awkward feeling. You mash them, you push them, sometimes things happen. I think an accurate description would be that the control scheme is not intuitive. Number five, Super WrestleMania. 
on the Super NES and Genesis. Another LJN tug of war game makes a list for the VGWA. And we have another wrestling game with two different rosters between the two consoles. The Sega Genesis copy of this game has one major improvement over the Super Nintendo. Finishing maneuvers. Oh, Cole Brady, let's count them two advantages as the Genesis also has a championship mode. But growing up as a Super Nintendo kid, I'll just flaunt that I had Animal and Hawk, the Legion of Doom. But I have Erwin R. Scheister. Wait, never mind. You win. America. Number four, Legends of WrestleMania for the PS3 and Xbox 360. It's a good game for a pick up and play arcade action, complete with quick time events. And the capability to import the fully playable roster of SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. But why would you need that when you could play as the legends of WrestleMania, such as Coco Beware, King Kong Bundy, and Brutus the Barber Beefcake. If you really want to play as all your favorite 80s wrestlers, then skip the NES version and jump straight into Legends of Wrestling on the PS3 or Xbox 360. Number three, WrestleMania, the arcade game on the Genesis, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, and Saturn. Don't forget the 32X. To me, the Genesis version is still the better version as it retains most of the voice and commentary samples from the arcade. A bizarre love child of Saturday Night Slam Masters and Mortal Kombat put together. Don't mistake this one for In Your House. It doesn't have Ahmed Johnson. I quickly found out that this was not a pick up and play game and learned that I needed to re-hone my skills to enjoy this game. So if you're into the stylings of arcade games such as NBA Jams, and you want to play a game that takes a totally different take on wrestling, try WrestleMania, the arcade game. You should check this one out. Number two, WrestleMania 19 for the GameCube. Recently playing this game with Wally, this was one of the most fun, competitive matches we've had in a long time. With the stamina of both our wrestlers totally drained by the end of the game, it was a good old-fashioned slobber knocker. Between the art style and the controls, Cobretti and I were demolishing each other. If I remember correctly, we both were busted open. Unlike Brock Lesnar's Shooting Star Press in WrestleMania 19, this one actually hits the mark. Number one, WrestleMania 2000 for the Nintendo 64. With maintaining the same engine as the previous WCW NWO Revenge, it's a guarantee for success. Was there any doubt this game was gonna be number one? 90% no mercy for 10% of the price. And thank you for joining us today and make sure to join us next time as we play a video game that has wrestlers in it. But once again, is it a wrestling game? Oh no, not again! Oh.